Hello guys, hope you're all alright and today as you can see I'm back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be ranking every tier 100 skin in Fortnite so far but before we get started if you guys are new around here on the channel make sure to smash subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like, feel free to leave a comment down below as well. So in today's video is my second tier this video and as I said at the start then I'm going to be ranking all the tier 100 skins in Fortnite so far. These are all just the tier 100 skins from the battle passes so it'll be the season 2 battle pass pass all the way to the chapter 2 season 3 battle pass let's get into it so in the video today I'm going to rank the selected skins into five different tiers so we're going to start off at the bottom to the top so at the bottom we've got the trash tier then we've got the mad tier we've got the all right tier we've got the good tier and we've got the god tier so the five tiers I'm going to rank the skins into and I think it'd make a lot of sense to rank the skins chrono chronologically sorry in what season they were introduced in so we're going to rank the season two the very first battle pass all the way to the current one we've got now which is the chapter two season three let's get into it so the first skin I'm going to rank on this tier list is the Black Knight. This was the very first tier 100, well it was tier 7 at the time, skin that was released into the game. This was part of the Season 2 Battle Pass and for me this has to go straight in that god tier without a shadow of a doubt. And I think 99% of people will agree with me because just on its own, like forget the other aspects of it like the nostalgic, um, the og of the skin. Just the actual skin itself is, is such a good skin, it looks so badass and it's just a really really good skin in general and I think it is one of the best tier 100 skins you can get in the game but it itself it's just a really good skin and to this very day I've always liked it and this skin's been out in the game now for about 2-3 years I think but it's a really really good skin and it just gets in that god tier so strongly as well as I mentioned then. Other aspects helping the skin get in is the nostalgic of it, the og of it but yeah it's a really really good skin so the Black Knight has to go straight in that god tier. The next skin we're going to rank is the Season 3 Tier 100 skin, and this is the John Wick. Now, this John Wick skin, I've never really had anything against it. I've never really hated it. I've never really loved it. It's an okay skin. I'm going to stick it in the good tier. I think it's good enough to get into that good tier. It's just a nice uh, skin. A lot of battlings go with it because obviously it's a full black skin, so a lot of battlings go with it. I think it is really good as well. I don't think it's nowhere near as good as the Black Knight, but as a skin, I think it is alright. As I said, I've never really hated it, never heard anything against it. It, but I've never really looked at it and thought, oh wow, that's such a good skin. So for me, I'm going to stick it in the good tier. Next up, we have the Season 4 Tier 100 skin, and this is the Omega skin. Now, I'm going to stick this one into the good tier. Now, main reason being for this, I know the actual starter skin itself, how it starts out, is terrible. I could probably put that in the trash on May tier, but that, this was the first um, upgradable skin in the game you could get. So, as you leveled up on the challenges, you could add more things to the skin to get it to look like the absolute best that it does. So, for me, I'm going to put it into the good tier. Uh, main reason being the aspects of it being the first upgradable skin in the game that helps get it into that good tier but other than that I don't think it's a really really good skin I mean I won't lie when it first came out I thought it was the best skin that I've ever seen in Fortnite but over time as I've looked at it and as other skins have came out it doesn't look that great however there is other things that help out like you can change the lights on it I think you can get like a red a green a purple just stuff like that so for me I'm going to stick the Omega skin into the good tier Next up we have the Ragnarok skin. Now I'm going to stick this one right into the good tier as well. I don't think it's good enough to get into the god tier with the Black Knight skin. But I've always liked the Ragnarok skin. I think it does look pretty good. Now obviously this is another upgradable skin. You can work um, your way up to getting all the better stuff on it. But for me, it's I, I like on itself as a skin without even upgrading it. I don't mind it too much. I think it looks pretty good, but when you upgrade it, it looks so badass. It's a really good skin, this, and I really like it. I know it's not that OG because Season 5, yeah, I'm not really classing that as OG, so there's not many other aspects that can help it out. But as a skin itself, I do think it looks really good, and I think it's one of the more underrated uh, tier 100 skins in the game. So I'm going to stick this one into the good tier with the John Wick and the Omega. The next skin we're going to be ranking on this list is the Season 6 Tier 100 skin. This is the Dire skin. Now, I'm going to stick this one into the good tier. Main reason being, as a skin itself, I really like it. I think it is really good as well. But the main thing that's doing it for me is that bat bling. That bat bling is such a good bat bling. I think it's called the Wolf Pack. It is really good bat bling. It goes with quite a lot of skins, and I see it quite often in Fortnite. So, as a skin itself, I like it. Obviously, it's an upgradable skin. You start off with the... Uh, 
or like the guy itself then you'll upgrade it to turn it into a wolf but the battling itself is really good and that helps it a lot getting into the good tier but you can change it to um, a white, a grey, a black, a brown you get different variants of wolves but I think it's a really good skin, really unique as well as I said once again one of the best battlings in the game as well so I'm going to stick this one into the good tier Next up on this list, we are going to be ranking the Season 7 Tier 100 skin, and this is the Ice King skin. Now, I don't hate this skin, but I'm going to put it in the alright tier, because when it first came out, I looked at it and I thought, wow, it's a pretty good skin, that. But over time, I've not really gone to hate this skin as much. I just don't like it as much as I used to do, so I'm going to stick it into the alright tier. I know it's got four different variants as well. as a blue, a white, a gold, and a black and red. I'd definitely say the uh, black and red is a really nice variant, but as a skin itself... I don't think it's that good um, as I thought it was when it first came out. There's no other aspects to really help it as well, like boosting up the rankings. So I'm going to stick this skin into the alright tier. Next up on this list, we have the Season 8 Tier 100 skin. This is the Luke skin. Now I'm going to stick this one into the Mare tier. I don't think it's bad enough to go into the uh, Trash tier, but... I just don't like this skin at all. I mean, maybe it's not for me, but some of you guys might like it. I think it's really good. I can kind of see what they tried to do. I just think for a tier 100 skin, that's not good enough. Like, the tier 100 skins, like, arguably meant to be the best skin in the battle pass. And for me, it just isn't that good. I don't really see what's so good about it. Like, I see a lot of other skins that are very similar to this. But I just don't think it's that nice at all. I mean, I know there's four different variants for it. The bat bling for it's okay, I guess. But apart from that, there's nothing too much I like about this skin. So I'm going to stick it into the meta. Now we have the Season 9 Tier 100 skin. This is the Vendetta skin. Now for me, this has got to go straight in that trash tier. What an awful skin. This is meant to be the Tier 100 skin and it's absolute shite. Like, just look at it. There's nothing good about it at all. Like, I would. this is the only skin I would say I hate. I don't think it's... That's, it's awful. It's nowhere near a Tier 100 skin caliber. Some of you guys might like it. I mean, if you could tell me what's likeable about the skin, then I might be able to understand a little bit more. But it just doesn't look that good. Like, obviously, this is an upgradable skin. You get the basic one. But even when you upgrade it, it doesn't look that much better. Like, for example, when you had the Ragnarok you upgraded that, that was, like, the one of the best upgrades in the game for a Tier 100 skin. But with this, it's just awful. There's nothing good about it at all. I know I'm having a bit of a rant, but no, I don't like this skin at all. I know you can change the colours on it, but that's about it really. So that's got to go straight into the trash tier. Next up, we have the Season X Tier 100 skin. This is the Ultima Knight. I'm going to put this one into the Mare tier. I don't hate it that much, it's just it, it doesn't look nowhere near as good as the Black Knight and it's just quite a chunky skin as well, quite big, quite blocky, I don't like it too much, I know you can change the colours of it, I think you can get like a grey slash silver and a red one, it's an okay skin, I can kind of see what they tried to do, I rate the Bat Bling of it, the Bat Bling is pretty good, but as a skin itself I just don't like it too much, I don't have anything like to hate about it like I did with the Vendetta skin, but I just don't think it's that good so I'm going to stick it into the Mare tier. Next up on this list, we have the Chapter 2 Season 1 Tier 100 skin, or some of you might call it the Season 11 Tier 100 skin. This is the Fusion skin. Now, I don't have too much against this. I think it's a pretty good skin. I'm going to stick it into the alright tier. I don't think it's a great skin all around, but it's got a really nice pickaxe with it. The bat bling is good, and obviously you've got sensible styles, and I don't mind the sensible styles too much. I just don't think it's that great of a skin to go into the good or god tier, but it's not that bad. So I'm going to stick the Fusion skin into the alright tier. Next up on this list, we have the Chapter 2 Season 2 skin, or some you might call it Season 12 Tier 100 skin, is the Midas. Now, I don't mind the Midas too much. It's an alright skin. It's just, again, it's one of them skins that I never first looked at and went, whoa, oh my god, that's such a good skin. So, I'm going to stick the Midas into the alright tier. I don't have anything against it or anything. It's not a terrible skin. It's just, I don't, like, look at it and think, oh my god, that's the best skin to grace the game ever. So, I'm going to stick it into the alright tier. There's no other aspects out this out, other than the fact that you can change it into an old gold skin. That's pretty cool, I guess, but now nah, for me, I'm going to have to stick it into the alright tier. And finally, we have the Chapter 2 it's Season 3 it's Tier 100 skins. I think this is the first time they've ever done this, so there are actually two Tier 100 skins here. So we have the Masked skin. And we also have the Eternal Knight skin. So we'll start off with the Mask skin. It's an alright skin. I don't have too much against it. I'm going to stick this one into the alright tier. It's an okay skin. I get, I kind of get what they tried to do with it. 
but it just doesn't look that good in my opinion so I'm going to stick that one into the alright tier but with Eternal Knight I'm going to stick this one into the good tier I like this skin quite a lot I do think it is pretty nice obviously you get selectable styles of it I like them as well they do look pretty nice obviously the pickaxe that comes with it as well that's really good as well so for me I'm going to have to stick the Eternal Knight into the good tier and that is it, so there is my tier list ranking and all the tier 100 skins in Fortnite so far. If you guys do want to see any more of these tier list videos on the channel, just make sure to leave a comment down below. And that's it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give that like button a smash and I will catch you all later.